Hello YouTube, I'm Rebecca and welcome to my channel Beck Trex Australia. This episode, one for the ladies, I'm just going to quickly go through how I manage uh, having to use the uh, bathroom outside. Um, with me today I've got my handsome Rhodesian Ridgeback, Mr. Mako. Looks like he's going to come sit with me and help me out. So, men probably should skip to the next video or maybe you can stick around and see what women sort of things we have to consider um, or if you have a female hiking partner you might want to suggest uh, them to jump on and watch this video um, I have found the system I use now 100% better than what I used to um, it's reduced how much I carry and weight um, yeah so getting into it um, this is a revolutionary new um, item I have discovered. Uh, usually I just go to the toilet. I'm talking about number ones here. I would use toilet paper. I then have to pack the toilet paper into my pack and carry it away with me because you, uh, in certain places you can't be burying toilet paper. And that was the case on the Bibbleman track. Um, so every time I would go number ones, I would have to use toilet paper put it in a paper bag and then put it in a Ziploc bag and then chuck it in my pack and that was pretty gross so I did that and it yeah it's not great so the revolutionary item that I carry with me to prevent toilet paper usage is a bandana bandanas do everything uh, I got a bandana to do the dishes with bandana to keep my at worst from sweating uh, bandana as a towel um, yeah it's great and maybe sometimes I use it as an actual bandana but not this one this is my p-rag so instead of using toilet paper uh, you, you may not know urine is actually sterile so it's actually no problem at all to be wiping with this letting it dry out on your pack you're not going to be spreading germs or uh, risk yourself getting sick um, from, from doing this. Uh, I recommend you would clean this every day though. If you do find a water source, collect some water, go away from everyone, away from rivers and streams, just uh, give this a good rinse, dry it out and as you're hiking keep this on your pack so it can dry out in the sun um, so it doesn't stay wet and stinky in your pack. But yeah, I use this and it has been washed. I just washed it today. Um, yeah, I would highly recommend it as uh, as opposed to uh, humping around a heap of used toilet paper. Um, just another side note, I bought a Shiwi, an actual branded Shiwi. Uh, I have again just cleaned this today. I have used this a few times. It works really well. Um, I've got a little extension nozzle for it, so I found if you do not get the extension nozzle you'll be peeing on your feet a lot, unless you're really good. So, Chiwi, um, I personally wouldn't recommend it and I don't think I'm going to be hiking with it. Uh, in its case, it's pretty big. Um, if you are with a bunch of guys and you're too embarrassed to go behind a tree, do your business behind a tree, then this might be a good idea. You can just go, you know, off to the side of the road and do this more discreetly than popping a squat behind a tree or a bush. But, uh, um, you know, if you're not worried about squatting in the bush, um, definitely, you know, don't worry about this. If you aren't if you're not able to squat or if it's not practical or you're, you, you for whatever reasons you don't want to then this is the item for you this works perfectly it didn't leak I didn't get any spills or anything definitely get the extend extending bit but yeah it's just too big it's too heavy for hiking and I have no problems you know going behind a bush um, you learn really quickly especially when you've got to do number twos out there too and there's no good way to do that by the way you're just gonna have to carry your toilet paper from doing that business but anyway 
Yeah, so Siwi, I recommend it if you're not good at squ squatting, but if you're pretty good at squatting, then just get rid of it. The only thing you'll need is a pee rag. And uh, just a little extra on cleaning the Siwi. All I do is just give it a good shake during the day. Um, you obviously can't get in there to, to clean inside the tube. Um, obviously try off what I can, um, but otherwise I just shake it out and um, pop it back in here. It does have um, little holes in here somewhere, um, so it does breathe a little bit. And um, yeah, at the end of the day, when I clean my pee rag, um, I also give the Shiwi a rinse if I do choose to bring it with me and use it. And that brings me to the end of the PP video. <laughs> uh, so please do like and subscribe. I've got a lot more of interesting discussions to come. Thanks.